We're only weeks away from summer, but you wouldn't know because it is absolutely freezing this morning. It is part of the Go Fishing Australia weekend, and it's currently sitting on three degrees. The last couple of weeks leading up to today has been really, really comfortable. Lots of 20 degree days, that water temperature is rising. But today, it's a little bit of an oddball, so it's pretty cold out here. We've got 15 or 20K westerlies today. We've also got a full moon, so we've definitely got some conditions against us. Out on the Hobie kayaks and hoping to get into a couple of fish to share with you hopefully warm up in the next 10 minutes or so. But anyway guys, that's the game plan. Hope you enjoy the episode and let's get fishing. Okay, so we are just launching. Feeling on the old fingers is uh, pretty challenging today. And you've got a bit of an open pocket here, so you are quite exposed. So it means we're going to be moving very, very quickly. Obviously, not a lot of swell to contend with, which is good. But we are going to be drifting really, really fast today, which can be a good and a bad thing for this style of fishing because we are going to be using very lightly weighted jig heads. And the lighter you can go, the better. Because it allows that soft plastic to just flutter down to the bottom very, very slowly and that's really good to increase catch rates especially in shallow waters like this because it is peak low tide at the moment which a lot of the times we're only going to be fishing in i'd say probably two two and a half meters deep so but it's all about adjusting to the conditions i mean that's that's what it's like every time you go out and fishing depending on temperature water temperature depth currents wind even the clarity of the water and the outside conditions whether it's overcast or sunny your job is just to always keep adjusting and kind of find out what works in the day. And that's always, you know, part of the fun in that first half an hour or so when you're on the water. So adjusting your jig heads, adjusting your colors of your soft plastics, working at your drift lines, all that sort of stuff. We call that cracking the code and to me, that's probably the funnest part of getting out here is kind of working out what works every day and then making some adjustments and getting onto some fish. Oh, hey. Flatty? Ah, oh, snook! <laughs> nice one, mate. And the shell, that's a good... Oh, he's jumping! Nice, mate. <laughs> UV gloves, but also equally as good. For a bit of wind chill because it is freezing that wind is just roaring through here at the moment so it's gonna what are we like four weeks away from summer so at the moment i'm just using a three inch kitech easy shiner so these are a beautiful looking soft plastic great swimming action they're pre-centered they've got that prawn uh, scent on them not very durable these plastics though so you'll find as soon as you get a catch you'll probably have to replace it but they do catch a lot of fish. Man, I can't remember a spring day this cold. So I'm just looking now on my phone, which I've got mounted here on the side, and it's saying it's currently 4.2 degrees, but then it has the feels like temperature, and it's saying it feels like 1.1. Oh, here we go. Yep. Oh, flooded. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that one. Woo, there's lunch. Oh, almost lost him. And then uh, all of a sudden there, we've got a really, really nice flathead. So that is a great way to kick off the account. And obviously you want to handle these fish with care. And decided just to drop the leader down to six pound. 
Look, I find that when the bite's not coming on, that's one of the best things that you can do is really drop down the fluorocarbon leader strength. Down to six pound, one eighth of a jig head, put a black and gold soft plastic on, and there you go, straight away. So that there is probably gonna be lunch. So that is a really nice catch. And around here in the shallow flats, we're fishing in the three and four meter mark. Mark has got a couple of snook and salmon, and uh, I've now joined the party with a really nice flathead. So, yeah, so that is a really, really nice fish, and uh, he's gonna find his way in the esky. Just had a brand new sounder installed on the kayak. So I've gone from the seven inch Lowrance Elite TI2. And we're now upgraded to the nine inch Lowrance Elite FS. So, but mainly it's about that real estate, that really big screen size. These ones got a little bit more colors into them. So it's gonna be very, very cool. We did a really lengthy step-by-step -step guide on how to install sounders onto a kayak. So that's in our members area if you wanna go and check that out. But otherwise, now really getting to take advantage of these tools is absolutely awesome. It's a good fish. We've been working mighty hard for him today, so I think we deserve the reward. And uh, this fish has just taken off. Got it away from the structure using very light gear here. So we're just gonna watch the... This is a really big pinky. Yes, that's a good fish. That's a real good fish, mate. Alrighty, well, there you go. So, we've certainly worked hard for him today. So, we've got a snook, a couple of flathead, one really nice size one. And just as we were thinking of wrapping things up, I thought I'd cast just a soft plastic crab. So, that's one of those Berkeley crabbies there. And uh, this beautiful pinky has come through us. So I'm just going to maneuver myself here away from the structure that's a beautiful fish and i tell you what it's a lot of fun when you're using the light gear so i've just got my very very ultra light twitch freak that i was using there the vanford 1000 and that is a beautiful beautiful fish definitely a panty size pinky and uh, as you can see there we'll get this soft plastic out of his mouth but that's it there that is just a little crab imitation a soft plastic one and uh, if you wanted to you could certainly keep a fish of this spice that's a definitely good little panty there and uh, that's really awesome and what's been a tough day's fishing that was a lot of fun catching that fish so uh, we're gonna get him on his way and all we're doing is we're just moving up to one of the boats slowing down casting one towards it letting it sink for 10 15 seconds if nothing basically retrieving the soft plastic moving on to the next one it's a really really efficient way of fishing you basically you fish that crab imitation very very slowly but you don't need it to leave it there for too long okay if you don't get a hit within the first 15 seconds then you're probably not going to get one so and then you can just move on to the next boat hull cast one up obviously you want to cast as close to that structure as you possibly can Three hits in. Got him, got him. Yeah, I 
I knew that was... Oh, yes. That's a real good fish, mate. And on the soft plastic crab. Well, that's a short session today, everyone. And I really thank you for watching. It's been pretty punishing out here. Obviously started with that pretty strong westerly breeze. It was hovering around four degrees, the outdoor temperature. And then as I said on the app on the phone, it said it felt like under one degree and it was cold. Like this is one of the coldest spring mornings that I can recall for a very, very long time. And we did it pretty hard. So in the first 45 minutes, we didn't get a touch. Then we went out to slightly deeper waters and we picked up a few flathead and a few snook, just licking some paddle tails. And then what we've done is we've come back in and we've just been clicking some of these crabs. So I've just got that on a 124th of an ounce jig head, just working them very, very slowly among the structure and uh, managed to pick up a pinky or two, which was nice, but we're going to call it quits. We're going to call it quits a little bit early. It's freezing. It's been tough going out here, and I think there's some very, very, very good fishing ahead of us. So um, I think it's time to go in, rog up. <laughs> oh, actually, I had, a, I had a bite that. Oh, oh, oh. Let's, uh, we're going to call it a day. It's just been mighty, mighty cold. It's been mighty windy, and just one of those days that was just really really hard work but i think what it really does show is that with a little bit of persistence we're able to catch a couple of nice fish i think we just came to get off the water regroup and then reload again in a couple of days time because we know we've got some much more pleasant conditions in front of us and obviously this time of year that's when you're starting to get some really really nice fish anyway guys i really appreciate your company i hope that you've enjoyed the episode and i look forward to seeing you on the screen in the next episode cheers everyone